Hi, and welcome to Late Night Sports, episode 15, and oh, I'm Andrew Roy, I'm 5'7", 280 pounds, I'm so sorry, alright, I had Popeyes, I gained my weight back, but you can't eat that, and this right here, this John Mule, he's six foot tall, and hair, down to you know where, and you can't cut that, welcome to Late Night Sports, how you doing? That's uh, the best one yet. <laughs> uh, what is this, like, day 14 for us, I think, of quarantine? Yeah, it's, it's been Tuesday. a fat minute. It went from two Thursdays ago <clears throat> to today. Yeah. So how are you keeping up with uh, with it? You doing all right still? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. You know, uh... A I'm whole lot fine. of NBA 2K. That's what it has been. I'm still doing fine. You're just playing Fortnite the whole time, right? No, I haven't played Xbox in the last t- today or yesterday. I've been watching uh, Marvel movies um, for about the hundredth time. Uh, <laughs> I think I've seen each Marvel movie um, except Far From Home, even including Endgame. The only one not is Far From Home. I've seen all of them probably like three times. It's great. Wow. Yeah, see, I, I've, I've been just playing 2K, hitting green lights from three quarters, three quarters down the uh, down the court. You but know, you nice. still stink at 2K? No, I'm nice. Nah. <laughs> uh, right. people, people don't want to hear about us going over video <laughs> games and Marvel movies, all right? So let's hit on to our first topic of today is Celtics news. IT would look to... Return to the Celtics per trending NBA Instagram account. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's some pretty big. I want to start this off by this could be fake news because I have not heard of this yet. Yeah, no, I, I've seen it a couple couple places on Twitter as well. He he's looking to looking to find a contract back. back into Boston, which was uh, which is wonderful. You know, I I love to hear that he wants to come back. He definitely wouldn't be a starter. I don't even think he'd be a genuinely like, lots of minutes kind of guy. Yeah, I could see him getting unless an injury happens, which I hope not. Uh, maybe like five minutes a game. I think more than that. All right, that, that you're pushing what I. I was thinking really? like 10, 10, 10 to fifteen, right. at least double digit minutes. They wouldn't. They wouldn't give him that kind of minutes. I hope not, at least. Is he, like, actually playing this year? Yeah, he did. He's he's he uh, averaging 12 a game on right. 41% from the three. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's shooting relatively well. Yeah, uh, shooting from the field isn't that good. Mm-hmm. But as long as he's a three-point bomber, I mean, that's what the NBA is about these days, right? The dude's, like, five foot nothing. He's not going to be going inside. Yeah, exactly. So there's Except don't even worry time. about that. Except that one time on LeBron. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's get on more Celtics news. Um, so the entire Celtics team was tested for the coronavirus, and only Marcus Smart was positive, which is a relief to know that only one of the players is yeah positive with that. This is crazy. Like out of like them, the Jazz, and the um. Nets, Lakers, yeah, Thunder, even Pistons. Like, everyone's getting stuck. One, maybe two, three top players that are getting like infected, which is crazy. I mean, they're also NBA players, so their immune system is like way up there. They're in like the yeah. top percentage in the world with their immune system, especially right now where they're like Middle almost season. at playoff times. So they've been running and stuff, and they're in great condition. Have been for like a couple months since at least probably the summer. Yeah, so that they're is, like fine. They're doing just fine. Yeah, yeah. It's good to hear it though. Yep. Pretty uh, good news. Yeah, on to some NBA hoops <laughs> or NCAA, NCAA hoops. Come on. Uh, Trey Jones and James Wiseman have declared for the draft. Uh, Trey Jones, a sophomore from Duke, unlike his brother, decided to stay second year uh, at Duke. But it's no surprise that he uh, is entered the draft now. He decided to stay back last year just for the fact he didn't want to be like overshadowed, overshadowed by like Zion being on his team yeah. and 
teams thinking he couldn't win without Zion. It proved, obviously, that he can still win without him. Yep. And then James Wiseman, I mean, no. No surprise. That's just a formality there. Yeah. This, this had to officially declare it, I guess. And Yeah. He'll be going to Golden State, in my, my opinion. Yeah. Keep saying that. Um, on to some retirement news. Kind of sad. Uh, Travis Frederick has retired due to a, at the age of 39, too. Um, he missed all of uh, 2018. And also the reason why he's retiring is because of an mm-hmm. autoimmune disease. Yeah, it's tough to see one of the most premier offensive uh Offensive lineman uh, yeah, retiring mild. early. Yeah. This is retiring over something like that. That's terrible. Yeah. But hopefully he gets healthy and stays healthy. Especially yep. in a time like now, he needs to be healthy. Healthy, yeah. Uh, yeah, if I'm hoping he can stay healthy, but I'm I'm kind of looking forward to in like the picture in like a year or so if if he like just completely is like cuts his body weight in like half like joe thomas did yeah like crazy transformation that's cr- those those pictures are crazy to see yeah they lose like, so much weight yeah like jeff saturday did the same uh it's crazy when they do that yeah uh-huh. they, they lose a lot they're like 300 pounds during their playing days yeah and then they slim down to probably probably 250 maybe less i see the opposite is happening with um Mr. Perkins, Kendrick yeah, Perkins, Kendrick, yeah. he gained 75 pounds during his two years off, but yeah. yesterday was day one of trying to lose some weight. Yesterday? I thought it was a few days ago. Was it a few days ago? I thought it was yeah. yesterday. Yeah. See, I've been losing track of days, man. I've been sitting at home too much. I, I need to get I'll, out. I'll count the days of quarantine, like, a couple times throughout the day, but then, like, I have to do it again. I forget okay. and don't care, really. You'll forget <laughs> about it. Yeah, I just... Like, if I get, like, uh, if I'm just sitting in between movies or, like, Fortnite games, I'll just count the days. Yep. This is, I want to get back. Honestly, like, I, all right, so I, I'm an average 3.2 GPA student here, and I, I don't, I'm not a fan of school, you know? Like, it's average, but now yeah. I want to be at school again, okay? Like, I'm bored. I've never said I don't like school. I don't like my last two periods of the day, but I like school. Like, yeah. if, if you could cut out periods five and six, shout out to those two teachers. You know who you are. <laughs> um, I, I would love school. I'd want to be there. But, yeah. I mean, I like, at the I, same I'm just, time. I'm out of boredom right now, man. At the same time, I'm enjoying not having those two classes. <laughs> but like periods one through uh, four, I um I love those classes. Yeah, I'm, I I just want sports, man. Baseball season. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Oh, and then back to Kendrick Perkins. He's been mm-hmm. boxing to get the weight off, and I guess he uh his doctor told him if he doesn't start losing weight, he'll have diabetes. Yeah. So he went and he's gonna go box. Go on Twitter or just look up Kendrick per- Perkins boxing. Those are some of the slowest punches <laughs> I have ever seen, especially from a professional athlete. Yeah, I mean he's not a professional athlete anymore. No, it has he's not. Fact. But I mean, he was like two two years ago. Just two years ago, yeah. Uh, like those are some weak punches. The slowest things I've ever seen. It's a crazy. <laughs> yeah, on to some uh, Pat's news. Uh the Pats have brought back my guy, Ryan Hoyer, on a one-year, $1.05 million deal. He sucks. And, Stinky and poopy. he's in the running for the starting job. That's the worst problem, man. He's terrible. <clears throat> he starts a couple games here and there and gets blown out, and then they bring back the starter after an injury. He's not a starting quarterback, and he never will be. He's like 45 million years old. And he's never going to have a starting job. All right. Stidham or Hoyer? Stidham. Stidham has potential to be something decent. True, true, true. Ryan Hoyer is a proven bum. Yeah. I was actually... No. All right. Bum. He's not a bum. 
backup. Only good for a backup. That's it. He's a very good backup. Average. Uh, to below average backup. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think he'll be good. Have some some veteran leadership. Yeah, the only good they, thing is... They need it. They need it now. That locker room needs it. Yeah, the only good thing they got out of it is only a one-year deal. And it's only for a million and, what, $50,000. It's very cheap deal. Yeah. I mean, for leadership wise, yeah, it's worth it. It's definitely yep. worth what they're, what they're um, getting out of him. And then some more shocking and stupid move by the Pats. They have released Steven Goskowski. Um, I don't know why. Fun fact that I found from um, our, I guess, I don't know what to call him, like our colleague up. Uh, Friend of a friend, Terry yeah. J. Byrne. Uh, he tweeted out that Goskowski and Brady from 09 to 2019 have made up 69. Gronk would be proud. 69 percent of the <laughs> uh, points of the Patriots offense from 09 to 2019, which is crazy to think about. Yeah, that's a whole lot of points. Losing that yeah, those two players. More than two thirds. But Goskowski has been on the decline. All right. That is, here, that is a proven fact. All right. He's on the I decline would, and he was oh, injured on. for 12 games last no, season. No, 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 no. All right. He, yeah, he was injured. Okay. Everyone gets injured. That's what his first actual injury of his career. I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, we are, we were. Everyone, myself included, all Pat fans were crapping on Guskowski because he missed some kicks. Yes, some, some kicks. kicks. Some, some kicks. Some, some of those kicks that he's been missing in the last couple of seasons have been huge kicks. But he is still a elite kicker. If any a bunch of teams would say, oh, oh I will take Guskowski in a heartbeat. Look at the Titans. Titans, if they had even a decent kicker who could kick from, like, I don't know, 35 yards and in, they would have three more wins. They, I believe they would have won the division. Um, yeah, but Goskowski isn't that elite I, anymore. He's different. He's not as good as he used to be. But, all right, but he's, he's still elite. No, he's not. I just said he's yes, not. He would. No way. There are more than... Probably two thirds of the league would love to have would love to have Goskowski. We're just Pats fans, and we we or we're actually New England sports fans. We yeah. want perfection every single game, every single season. It's not it's not a want, actually. It's an expectation. Yes, it's an expectation. Perfection every game, every season. Yeah. Goskowski has not been perfection these last couple of seasons but he's still an elite kicker who's gonna go be he's gonna go probably make some money for a kicker and he's gonna go help a team win games and I'm definitely... I, would, I would i don't know who their kicker is right now i'm gonna look him up but i would like to see him go to the bucks uh, really because you're all in on the bucks winning the uh you know they have a good kicker i thought the bucks had one they have a good one i don't i don't know I'm lo- I'm looking up their uh, team right now. I-, I thought they had one, but I know in years past they've been like needing a kicker. Like they've had very bad kickers. Let's see who it is. Matt Gay. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, Matt Gay. Ma- right, Matt yeah. Gay is. He- he's a good kicker. Good. He's he'll one of the-, the best in the league. All right. He'll probably go to the Titans then. And the Titans will go win the division next year. They probably will because uh, they're a good team. No, they should have won it last year if they had a good kicker. Nah, oh, cool. If they had an average kicker, they would have won. They had, they had, they were a, they were a really bad kicking team. Yes. Because how see is probably better than a, what they had. If you have, if you give them an okay or better kicker last season, they would have won the division. Maybe Goskowski is an okay kicker now. Maybe so, but he's not elite anymore. I th- not- I think he still is. He's not he's not what he used to be, not even close. Well, uh, no, he's not, but he's still an elite. I'm gonna bring up his stats right now. 
Here we go. He's not the one we all used to. No, yeah, there's no way he's doing this ever again. He's not putting 40 through a season anymore. That's not happening anymore. I'd be happy if you're, if you, you, I'd be happy with like, I don't know, freaking 25 out of Goskowski in a season. I don't think he's able to hit all of them anymore. Out of what? Out of like, I don't know, 25 out of like 33. That's the best you're getting from, from my book out of him. There's no way. Made. Um, here, you have a calculator right now? Actually, never mind. I do. His career, his career field goal percentage is 87.4%. That's freaking elite. Yeah. Cool. Well, <clears throat> in his last two, is, is, they've gone down a little bit. They keep on going down. The only, his last, the last, his last year, full season. Below his last full 80. season. The Look last, at that. The last year that it was below 80 percent was 2010 cool and every cool. year it was at least 82 percent or higher elite, and that was only my one book. year other than that one year that he had 82 percent he was 84 or better how what what do you consider an elite kicker 90 percent over right now he was elite he's no longer elite that's a fact I think he's still elite. Yeah. He did, so the only thing he did is, so good last year before he got an injured man. He, you're right. He was playing so well. Yeah. He went 11 for 15 on freaking extra points. Every every kicker, every kicker misses extra points. I don't care. He missed four out of his 15 attempts. Yes, and he was injured. He had a groin injury. You try to kick with a groin injury. Then why was he kicking? Why would he still kick? That's why they made him uh, put him on IR. That's why they released him because he's no longer going to be good anymore. All right, we'll see. We will we'll see. What do you think? What do you think he's going to make next next year for like kicks? I said no more than twenty five on thirty three attempts. So that's eight misses. Yeah. He's not going to be good. He's falling off. He's getting old. So you're, he's 36. So it doesn't matter. All right. You can't bring up, when you can't bring kicker, up Vinatieri. Age does not matter when you're a kicker. Vinatieri, uh, he's like... Vinatieri is like 10 years older than Goskowski. Vinatieri is God. All right. Vinatieri is the definition of a God. I think Vinatieri is older than... Br- Actually, I know Brady is younger than Vinatieri. Yeah, he's 47 right now. Vinatieri? Yeah. Yes, he's, more, he's eleven years older. Ooh, he had a 11... tough, tough year last year. Ooh. Yes, he was contemplating retirement last year, Vinatieri. Yeah, I understand why now. Oh, he had sixty-eight percent last year. That's the level where I have Mister Stephen Gutkowski going to next year. End of discussion. So, so you're setting the over under at eight. 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 Yeah. And you're gonna take the over? Yeah. I'll take the under. All right. <laughs> how how much? Five bet? bucks? Sure, five why bucks. not? Five bucks. Elbows. Elbows? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're practicing. We'll do it afterwards. We'll do it after the show. All right. All right, let's move on to some more news. Hold on. I want to bring up one uh, Brady thing that I just got. Oh, he, yeah. Uh, he declined a um like a meetup with the Pats. Before he left. Wow. I mean, maybe he knew he was out. He knew uh, it was time to go. Yeah. I guess it was about Brady time knew for him. He, Brady knew he wouldn't return two days before agreeing, agreeing to join with the Bucks. Wow. He was going to... I guess they wanted to set up like a Pat's Day uh, and Kraft was going to like be there and stuff. Hmm. I don't. I haven't looked at them, and but I also saw the Pats are gonna have new uh, jerseys as well. They're gonna tweak them. Cool. Sounds like a fun time. Speaking of jerseys, oh. Rams. Oh what did you God. do? You had one of 
the best uh, logos in the league, I think. Mm -hmm. That was a sick logo. Now, now it's something disgusting. Yeah, that it is. is it is foul. It's foul. That, that's ugly. If that if I had if I had a little young kid, I would say, all right, you can't look, at, you can't say these really these bad things. All right, can't say swears. Can't be mean to other people, other kids, and you can't look at the Rams logo because that will scar you for life. All right, that thing is yeah. so ugly, so ugly. People were trashing on the uh, Chargers new logo. This one takes the cake. This one's oh, way yeah. worse than the Chargers. Oh, this is atrocious. Yeah. This is, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It, it's pathetic. All right. Let's move on to some other stuff. Uh, Darius Slay to wear number 24 to honor Kobe. Respect. Yeah, respect. That's a whole lot of respect. Yeah. Darius Slay moving on to uh to Philadelphia. Casey number while going there. I like it. You, you like yeah. to see it. But something you don't like to see, the Olympics have been canceled. Yeah, I kind of saw this coming, though. This yeah, It was just a matter of time, I think. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, and I really don't like it because, you know, it's, it's the Olympics. You know, it's every every two years you get to see it in the summertime or the wintertime to yeah. watch the Olympics, and it's tough. You don't get to see it this year. But they but, are keeping it as Olympics 2020, even if they have it next summer. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah, they're keeping it as 2020. I guess I bet things are already built. They don't want to fix it. Oh, yeah, true, That's true. That's probably true. what it is. Yeah. But, all right, it's getting canceled this summer. But they're going to have it next summer, 2021. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have the Winter Olympics in 2022. That's going to be nice. That is nice. They're back to back, basically. They're right back to yeah. back. Nonstop action. Yep. All right. And for the fun time, we have a debate at the end of our episode, like we usually do, and a debate uh, of I, today. I, we gotta change the name of this. It's a debate, but not a debate. Not really. It really isn't a debate. It's more of a. It's more of a uh, conversation. The yeah. conversation will be on. What is the most unbreakable record in sports history? Mm -hmm. John, what do you got? I just wanna before I say mine. I just wanna like list off some. We have yeah. the DiMaggio um, hit streak at 56. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Wilt's 100 points in a game. We have Cal Ripken Jr.'s uh, however many games he played consecutively. 2,632. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, how, uh, that's a long time playing. Yeah, uh, it is. See, what are some of the other ones, Andrew? Uh, Barry Bonds intentionally walked 688 times. Yep. Um, 55 boards in one game for Will Chamberlain. Uh, Nolan Ryan, seven no-hitters. And Cy Young's 749 complete games. Mm -hmm. Those are the uh, the records. But I, I want to go to one thing. You said that Wilt's 100-point game is unbreakable. Or one of the options you're trying to say out there right now. I'm just saying that's a record. It, it is currently a record. I think Will's going to be broken. I'm surprised it, it will. hasn't broken already. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that it will be broken at some point. With how yeah. the league is going with Harden averaging like a gazillion points a game, at some point, someone will break 100 points. Yeah, It might not be in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. might not be in the next 20 years, but it will happen at some point. At least I how the league is going It's going to happen uh, with by the time we leave college. Really? So you're thinking like the next, what, four or five years? Really? Honestly, uh, I can't even, I can't disagree with you on that. Yeah. And that's a fair I, argument. Because I've been, I was thinking about this like two-ish years ago and it's just like stuck with me. Mm -hmm. But when guys used to drop 40 points, like that used to like be shocking. People, someone dropped 40 points. Nothing like, anymore. Like now, I don't even like, doesn't get the blood flowing when I see someone score 50. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll even play. Cool. <laughs> another 50 bomb from, from like yeah. Damian Willard or something like that. Yeah, it's like, whatever. When, cool. Especially when guys do it like 10 times a season. And that's one guy. Harden, Luka, yeah. LeBron. LeBron. It happens all the time. Exactly. Yeah, it, it happens like, I don't know, at least probably, what, 
30 times a season? No, I right. I thought they were already over 30 by this point this year. Honestly, they, they, they yeah. so many high scoring uh, mm-hmm. players. But uh, John, who do you think? Uh, what, what's your record? Do you want to stick with as the craziest one ever? All right. Um, I think Cal Ripken Juniors is the safest lock because yeah, no one no one plays that long. Uh, no one people, does. Yeah, people get hurt. Um, people, it's just. Teams don't let you play the whole season. Yeah, um, if you're a star player, they sit you. Yeah, they give you an off day. Um, this is not going to happen. Joe, Joe DiMaggio, that's incredible. I mean, like, we see it like some, guy, some guys go on, like, a very long hit streak, but it's at, like, 38 or something. Like, I know Jackie Bradley Jr. did it a few seasons ago, like, four maybe, three, four. Yeah. And, his was like crazy, but it was only at like thirty something, I think. Yeah, not that's even. not not as cool as his. Yeah, I mean, fifty-seven games. That's like a third of the season. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot of games. Yeah, yeah. Mine, I think, m- mine's even more crazy. I think this might be the most safe bet of all. Mm-hmm. All right, Cy Young's seven hundred and forty-nine complete games. I did not have that one on, off the top of my head. I, I've like I've known about it. I've heard of it before, obviously, uh, but I like forgot that one. Um, it's like the most. It's the most crazy. Yeah. Because like, I That's can't the, name a player right now who's currently active in the league who has more than thirty. Yeah. Another thing. Again, seven hundred and forty-nine. Like, what the heck? Again, same thing with like Ripken. Teams do not let you go that far. No, never. Teams, I don't. I don't understand this. I'm highly against it. My dad did this to me when I was 12 year old. 12 years old. But if you have a no hitter, teams sometimes won't even let you go the distance. That's terrible. Which is the most. You might be bleeping this out. It's the most scumbag thing to do. No, no, that, that, that's fair. Uh, like, the only only player I've ever dad, seen knock off a uh, manager come to the mound is Mad Max, who's like this. I'm staying on the mound. I'm finishing yeah. this game out. Yeah. No one else is like, no one else is doing a complete game anymore. It's terrible. Yeah. Like my dad did that to me when I was 12. I'm 17 now. I still have not forgiven him for that. <laughs> I'm what, still what, mad. Little about League that. Baseball. Yes, when I was 12 <laughs> against um, Bailey's. I, uh, I was on Bailey's. I... Oh, look, oh, yeah, you're, 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 you're above. I'm yeah, that's right. Anymore. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I'm not Bailey's champs. We got those rings. No, we got rings. No, we ain't get rings. We got trophy though. Nice trophies. Yeah, but yeah, there's no way no one's beating out that for me. Um, but I have a close second. Barry Bonds intentionally walked oh, 688 yeah. times. I mean, the closest I, I want to do some stat checkers from yourself, right? Myself, right now. Like, that's how much one of those stats that you think they made it up? Yeah, no, like, I want to see how much my trout. Has. That, if that happened to like in like 1909, I would say, oh yeah, they just made this one up. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's what happens. Like, there's so many baseball stats that happened that long ago that I'm I say to myself, oh, they definitely made this crap up. <laughs> like, no, no way this happened. But I mean. He played like, cool, like pretty. He was pl- still playing when we were alive. Yeah, he was um, at our. He was at his peak when we when I was born. Oh two. Yeah, he was right then. Those 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 peak years were him. But who would you consider the best baseball player in the league right now? Are you kidding me? Well, That's this, this, yeah, I Mike guess so. Kirk. Yeah. All right. So you would think that you know through nine seasons he would have a whole ton of intentional walks. He's the best player in the league, and yeah. he only has a hundred. This man, Barry Bonds, had a hundred and twenty in one season. In literal on. one season, man. All right, I don't know this either way, but this is just what, like, this is what happens with intentional walks. Mm-hmm. Because I've called for intentional walks being a catcher before. Um. Uh, 
when say it's someone like Mike Trout, he's what yeah. their two three hitter. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not gonna intentionally walk a guy when you have Albert Pujols right behind you that I still have to face. I'm yeah, not gonna, that I'm is not a good point. Intentionally walk Mike Trout when I have to go face uh, Show Otani. Yeah, exactly. And then that- you have to face Justin Upton, who's not what ju- he's not Justin Upton anymore, but he still has a bat. I yeah. don't know if Barry Bonds had a lineup. I have no idea. But uh, I don't think he had a great thing. lineup behind him. I don't think he did either. I'm not sure if, how many rings he ever won, but I don't yeah. think he had that great of a lineup to protect him. So like, yeah. So like, it's not like oh, I'm just gonna intentionally walk you and then get to some Joe Schmo who stinks at hitting. To they can't do that. I'm not him. Yeah. They have, they have a legit lineup. Yes. That, 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 that's definitely true. That you have to respect, yeah. So that's another thing. I think when when you have a talent like Mike Trout, you can't waste that. No. Especially no, if you want to keep, if you want him to be on the team for life. And he signed a big time contract and now he got him yeah. to play, pretty yeah. much. All right. I think it's about to wrap up episode 15 of Late Night Sports. I'm Andrew. This I'm is John. John. Thank Andrew. you for watching. And uh, am I like cutting you off, John? Do you want to finish it off, for I me, mean, buddy? You, usually, you start. I usually I do the outros, but I mean, whatever, whatever. Oh, I am cutting you off this time. All Deal right. with it. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, it's a good time. Give us a at, like. At late night sports. That is true. You gotta tell them where to find us. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Now, it's late night sports. Everyone knows who we are. We're famous. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Peace. Bye-bye.